Hello friends, it's Lisa and welcome to my bullet journal setup for the month of September. So as we're entering the autumn season, which is my favorite season, I knew I really wanted to focus this month's theme around that. I feel like I always want to do a very fall cozy theme in September just because I do love the season so much. So we are doing kind of a very simple fall sort of theme. I got inspired by Riley Autumn. I will have her YouTube channel as as well as the specific Instagram post I got inspiration from linked below. But like I said, I wanted to keep this month's theme pretty simple, but very fall. So I'm using some stamps for the lettering and that is what I use throughout all of the spreads this month. And then I'm just doing some very small like fall related doodles. So I did a little acorn, um, a couple leaves, a coffee cup and a bag of tea just keeping it very cozy but very simple and I add some little details like some little stars kind of around that to fill up the empty space kind of surrounding the September title and because the drawings and everything were a little bit more simple and easier for me to do I wanted to use some scrapbooking paper to fill in some empty spaces so I'm using this just plain brown paper as well as this plaid paper it's like a brown or like a light tan and a cream color within the plaid to kind of add some layered texture to the pages as well as filling up some empty space I always feel like I need to fill up empty spaces on my journals and pages with like drawings I never think to use you know the thousands of washi tapes and stickers and scrapbook paper that I have so I decided to utilize some of that this month I also really like the look of layering the kind of scrap paper, the different scrap paper that I use. So I did that in the corners for the title page and then that was it for the main title page. I feel like it was pretty simple. It was a pretty easy thing to set up. I feel like it didn't take me that long to set this month's theme up because I kept it so simple, which was what I wanted. <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm going to be experimenting with some different types of more simple themes. I think utilizing more of my stationery and just making it a little bit easier for myself. I feel like I've been feeling, I don't know, a bit discouraged. I feel like with bullet journaling lately, I feel like I always think I have to do some big art piece or just like, I don't know, do something different every single month. I can't repeat themes. I have to do something different. And I don't know, I definitely think I'm going to be reevaluating how I do my bullet journal and like set it up. I feel like I love doing different themes every month, but at the same time like I said I always put that pressure on myself to do something different every month so I don't know we're gonna see what happens I definitely feel like I'm going to be experimenting a little bit with how I use my bullet journal and what I do for themes and everything but Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. I'm now onto the calendar spread, moving on. <laughs> so for the actual calendar, I just set up some simple black boxes for every day of the month. And then I have that bigger box on the side where I'm gonna write down like any important dates or things I need to remember just to do throughout the month or like videos I want to post and film. I'm just gonna have that as like a general note section for the month. And then as you can see for the title for the calendar, I wrote out September using the stamps again, but just cut out each individual letter. So I was able to kind of place them in this scattered look. And I've done this before. I think it was in my reading journal. I've done it a few times and I just really like the look of it. So I thought I could do it for a theme in my bullet journal because I don't actually think I've done this before in my normal bullet journal. But when I'm using the scrap paper, I thought it'd be a cool thing to do. And then I also use the plaid paper for some more decoration, but also as the kind of label for that note section on the side of the calendar. And then other than that, I just place some more brown paper as like some decoration. I do a couple of the doodles from the front page kind of scattered across the page but again keeping it pretty simple it's mostly like the craft paper I feel like that I use on this page and I don't know I think it fills up the space nicely I really like the way it looks I just love a neutral kind of moment so I feel like anytime I do a more neutral theme in my bullet journal it always ends up being a favorite and I also feel like because this theme does remind me a lot of fall, it also makes me happy because again, my favorite season, but would love to know if any of you have any fun plans or exciting things happening in September. As always, I love to kind of ask that when we're at this point in my bullet journal setup, I have a wedding to go to in September, which I'm very excited for. And other than that though, I don't think I have really anything going on. So let me know what you have planned for the month of September, any fun plans.
Moving on, we are now going to work on my habit tracker. So once again, getting out all the stamps to uh, write out habit tracker. I feel like that's the part that took the longest was just getting all of the stamps I need for each title for the spreads. But I'm just writing habit tracker up at the top with the stamps. And I do some doodles around it as well. Some of those fall doodles just to add the theme into this page. And then for the six individual habits I'm going to be tracking this month, I just create six little calendars. I use the black marker to kind of outline a little calendar for each habit. And then when I do those habits throughout the month, I will fill it in for that day. And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much keeping this page pretty simple um, just so it can actually be functional. I feel like this is exactly how I set up my habit tracker pretty much every other month. So you've probably seen me do this a million times if you've watched any of my bullet journal videos before. And the six habits I'm tracking, I think are the same six habits that I always track when I read, when I wash my hair, when I do my skincare, when I use mouthwash, when I floss, and also when I'm a bit more active. I feel like I was better about being a little bit more active at the beginning of the year. I feel like everyone's like, yeah, new year, new me, gonna be more active, gonna work out a little bit more. And I was good at it a little bit at the beginning of the year. Definitely have fallen off of it, but I definitely wanna go on some more walks. I feel like with the cooler weather approaching, it might be nicer to get outside and do some walking. And also, you know, I wanna get back into stretching. I got on like a ballet TikTok hole the other day. And I feel like, I don't know if I've ever even mentioned this before, but I used to be a dancer. And so I used to be very flexible or just more flexible than I am now. So I want to get back into stretching. So definitely want to utilize that active habit a little bit more this month, but Moving on to the next page, we're working on my playlist page. So all of the music that I discover and listen to in the month of September, I will write down here. I do have a playlist on Spotify that I update whenever I find new music or whatever. And I also have a playlist of every single year of every song that I've had in my current listening playlist. So I keep track of what I listen to on Spotify, but for some reason, it's just really fun to have it in like a physical place and be able to look back on like past playlist pages in my other bullet journals. So so this is something that I just like to include for fun. Plus I just love music. So it's always fun to look back on what I was listening to specific months or specific times. So I'm doing the title in the same way I did the calendar page. I used the stamps and then individually cut them out to kind of scatter them across the top and then drew a little acorn and a leaf in the corner to kind of add a little bit more detail to the page, but kept it pretty simple. So I have plenty of space to write down all of the music that I was listening to this month. And now we're moving on to my final spreads for this month, which are going to be my first two weekly spreads. I'm going back to my classic, very simple layout. I have seven boxes on each side. So this is the first two weeks of the month. And there is a section that is empty and that is just where I'm going to put some of the scrap paper, kind of add that layered look onto the page. And yeah, just kind of bringing the theme in and bringing some color and some excitement into the weekly spreads. So yes, I'm layering the plaid and brown paper again in the corners of the spread. I wasn't sure if I was going to layer it at first, which is why you see me kind of go back and forth with that for a bit, but I decided to do a layered look. I feel like that looks really cool. So I wanted to do that again. And then for the actual boxes for the days of the week, I go in with the kind of main colors I was using throughout the spread. So um, a couple of the browns and the green to create a header for each box. And that's just where I write the days of the week and the actual numbers for the days of the month. So I know which box correlates to which day. And that's it. It's very simple. Plenty of space to write down what I need and it's functional, which is exactly what I want. And I only film me setting up the first two weeks of the month, but in the kind of close up section, I do show what the last two weeks of the month will look like. It is the exact same setup. I didn't do anything different. I just switched which corners I put the paper and that's it. It's basically exactly the same for the whole month, but I do really like this layout for weekly spreads. I think it works really well for me.
But that is it. That is what all of my September spreads look like. So here's a flip through of everything and how it all turned out. Again, would love to know if you have any fun things, any fun plans for the month of September, or if you set up a bullet journal yourself, what theme you decided to go with. But that is going to be it for my September bullet journal setup. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.